good morning. Today I'd like to hang out with you at my home office as I am proceeding with a typical day, just getting things done, being as productive as possible. We've talked about this mainly in the comment section. You guys love traveling with me when I do sort of those kinds of day in the life, follow me on the road type of videos, but you also said that you wanted to just see what it was like for me to have a regular day at home in the office, and that makes so much sense. So now that I finally have had sometime in the home office where I'm not on the road. I just thought I'd have you follow me around. Today's a pretty good day for it. I'm not leaving the office for anything unless something tonight pops up that I'm potentially scheduling, but I don't even think I would bother you with that. So it's really just gonna be me in my office doing work and I wanna give you an idea of what that actually looks like. So to give you an idea of where we're at, it is a Monday morning, it is 10.45 in the morning and so I've actually accomplished quite a bit already. So I just wanna kinda give you a rundown because I did not wake up like this. <laughs> First of all, I woke up at 5.30 this morning to give myself that jump start. There are a few things I kind of do in my morning routine and I actually will put on my calendar, morning jump start, do the things that you do when you first wake up in the morning. Not that I need the calendar reminder, but just so it actually has a space in time in my life, which we talk about a lot here. That sort of morning jump start takes me an hour. And so yeah, I'm pretty much done with that by 6.30. This morning at 6.30, I wrote a blog post. So I kind of had some ideas about something I wanted to say about the real estate industry. So I wrote a blog post about that and I posted it on LinkedIn. Once I was done with that, Vincenzo had kind of gotten his brain together after waking up also, like he has his own little morning routine that he does. And we started talking about something that was top of mind with a client. Um, it wasn't really like ideal to have a first thing in the morning client chat, but certain things are just pressing and they need to be discussed. And we've co-founded a company together. And so anytime there's a client issue that we really need to address, it's something that's very hard for us to kind of draw the line like, oh, let's schedule a meeting for this. Like, no, we just start talking about it as quickly as we can to work through a solution as quickly as we can. So that took about a half an hour. He left to go to the gym and I sat down on the couch to read. I finished a book this morning called Managing Oneself by Peter Drucker. Super fast read so much value, totally recommend that. I mean, I don't know why it was such a short book. I felt like it could have gone a million different directions, but now I think I'm a lot more excited to dig into even more of his work. So definitely recommend that. I'll leave a link in the description. After that, I had to get my butt moving on the elliptical. So I did about 40 minutes there, some cardio, and then just got ready threw on some sort of like no makeup makeup because I don't have to go anywhere today except for to talk to you. And so I was like, mm, can they let the foundation pass today? I think so. <laughs> and I also blew out my hair differently just because we're still keeping it interesting. I just cannot bring myself to curl it when I have nowhere to be. Sorry. And so that's taken us to here. I have told you guys in the past that I don't eat breakfast super early in the morning. I do like my own iteration of intermittent fasting, which essentially means that I only eat for certain hours of the day so that I'm not eating all day long, all the time, because I think it's a little bit harder to control how much you eat when you do that. I don't like to control how much I eat, I like to eat. But if I give myself the parameters of, okay, I can only eat between the hours of 11 a.m. and 7 p.m., that helps me from going completely haywire. Cue Lucy tip-tapping, because she always thinks when I'm talking, I'm talking to her. It's rare that I'm actually talking to her, but she still thinks it. So now I think I'm gonna pull out a little shake that I made out of the refrigerator just to kind of be my breakfast because I kind of want to dig into something else quickly. I have some things I gotta post on Instagram, some emails, emails to get back to. So I think I'm just gonna have that shake. Lucy is now digging at the carpet, so let's move on. I thought I would kind of take you through my day. So I have calendar blocked my entire day. I read probably most of those things to you because they're already done. And so now I would like to share what else is on the agenda for today. First, we talked about this recently. Actually, I think it was the last video that you watched about prioritizing and your to-do list. Like I said, most everything that I do is on my calendar. So if it's important, it has a time slot on my calendar. But there are a lot of things on my calendar that take up time. 
And yet, if you have a to-do list, it's really important to keep that limited to just a couple of things or maybe three things, those big three things you've got to get done today. So I have that list of three things. I've actually been liking it, not for the sake of just having things to check off, although I get so much, so much satisfaction out of that. It is more for the whole like staying focused thing. If something's to come up, if an emergency is to pop up, if a meeting goes long, if something takes longer than it should have, I have to look at that list and say, okay, what is going to get deprioritized because the three things on this list are supposed to be the most important things for me to do today, so I've got to get them done today. And so those three things for me today include my content experience presentation. I'm going to Toronto. Oh my gosh, is that next? It's next week, which is why this is on my top three today. Oh my god. I also need to have a call with my assistant, Meg. Vincenzo and I need to have a call with Meg because she is getting ready to go on maternity leave because she's about to pop and have a baby. <laughs> it's important to talk to her because it's like, okay, Meg does a lot of things, and so we need to make sure that we cover bases as she is not going to be available for the next six weeks because that's how much maternity leave we give her from Aftermark. And my third thing is Poshmark, <laughs> which sounds so silly, but there's a big elephant in the room right now and it's driving me crazy. I'll show you. This is the elephant in the room, and that is, uh, well, these are clothes that are getting donated, and these are clothes that are either getting donated or, it just looks freaking amazing, either getting donated or are going listed on my Poshmark store. And so the tripod is laying there so delicately because I need to use that to kind of like take photos today and get my Poshmark listings up. This is a priority because I cannot have this in my life. P.S. Thank you to Poshmark for sponsoring this episode of Amy TV because look at how horrific this is. Thanks to them for this. You guys really got to check out the link in the description for Poshmark. It is so fantastic to be able to list some things, make a little bit of money when you're trying to clear out your closet. And I love it. It went over so well. Last time I cleaned my closet out with you guys, you jumped into my Poshmark store and bought all my dresses and I was like, oh no. Maybe I do like them, but it was so fun. I was like writing like notes for the packages and sent them out to you guys, just whoever got the dresses that I wasn't gonna be able to wear anymore. And it all worked out for the best. It all worked out for the best. I announced recently that the next book for book club is um, the, the life-changing magic of tidying up. Ever since I started reading that book, I have been going insane to just throw everything away. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world right now. That's probably more than half my closet. Crazy, but it's because I realized I was keeping so many articles of clothing, which is a big chapter that's sort of toward the beginning of this book. I was keeping so much stuff just for sentimental value. Don't tell Vin, I'm throwing away the dress that I wore when he fell in love with me. Sorry, I don't need it, but you're already in love with me and you put a ring on it, so I've just gotta get rid of the dress, right? It's stuff like that, I, I, it's gotta go. So that's a big priority. I would love to show you though the rest of my day calendar block, just so you can kinda see what a real life day calendar block looks like. And there it is, as you can see. I have gotten all the way to 11 o'clock. It is literally 11 o'clock on the dot right now. So, we've accomplished all this stuff that is sort of grayed out. What I have the rest of the day, I need to post that book, book club selection, I have emails, I've gotta do that Poshmark stuff, maternity leave meeting is at 1.30. I'm gonna do treadmill and email, so I'm gonna do a lot more um, sort of outreach, and that's what this is as well, but there's gonna be one hour of email happening on the treadmill so I can walk and do email at the same time. Five things and text engage is sort of like a code phrase for me of type of outreach that I want to do, so, um, this isn't an effort for me continuing to build my um, speaking career and get more clients for Aftermark. I do a series of different networking tasks every day in order to continue to make that a reality for us. Uh, gotta work on that presentation, so I'm gonna spend time in the afternoon doing that because it's really just a lot of like image searching and things like that because it's pretty much totally done otherwise. And then I'm getting a new hard drive today which I'm excited about because I'm out of space and also because I'm gonna start a new B-roll organization process, which I'm pretty pumped about. So I may have to bump this to later and cook dinner at this time, but that is to be determined based on when Vin gets home. So I'm gonna finish my shake and get it going. Got stuff to do today, let's make it happen.
So I need to post on Instagram about book club. If you know about book club, we have done one so far. The next one is being announced. I like to announce in my community tab on YouTube and on Instagram what book we're reading for book club so that we can read it at the same time instead of just announcing it in a video so we can read it together. Anyway, so I gotta post that on Instagram, but I already found out something even more important. <laughs> and so I really need to go to my Instagram and I've been trying to do more of vloggy stuff like this on Instagram and actually chat with my community over there more in stories. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Hey, happy Monday. I don't know if you were already struggling with the fact that we are entering into a five day week. Maybe you're still feeling very summery and not ready to go all in on your work, but I have a piece of great news I just found out. Have no fear. National Prosecco Day is here. So, if you're not feeling quite on your A-game yet, I know you could be like me and make sure that your husband's gonna bring home a bottle of Prosecco for dinner, because that's gonna make it all better. <laughs> today which is not that productive learn from me but now it is time to work on my Poshmark listings I knocked out email it's done so I'm not even gonna do my treadmill and email I just kind of did it here I had my call with Meg so we're all set in case she goes into labor in like five seconds which is probably going to happen um, but yeah gotta do this Poshmark thing and do my presentation there was a time when this was sorted and then I just kept adding to it. So, I think it's going to need a resort. There was, especially the meeting people, meeting speakers in person at the conferences and how effective that can be. But even, like you mentioned, the, even if you linger around... Oh my god, that is so much better. It's almost like I forgot that that floor was mine. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just over there. All right, so now I have two piles. I had to like get some things out of there that are not gonna go on, not gonna go on my Poshmark store. So, but, but the pile of things that is, is enormous. So that's gonna be really, really busy. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can. I wish I could show you this part, but I realized I can't because I'm gonna be using this camera to take photos and my phone is actually going to be like my remote shutter. So I'm gonna to have to use both of my cameras at the same time so I can't really show you what I'm doing. Uh, but all of these things, I'm gonna show you like the product of like me actually putting them on the Poshmark store so you can see what they look like in case you've not seen that before. But I have a lot of clothes to put on and photos to take. So let's see how many I can get done today. I just finished taking all the photos for Poshmark, so they're gonna go on my store. And you can download the app for free with the link in my description. Go check out my store with that link. It's Atchmatastic, that's my username on Poshmark. And shop everything that I just posted in case maybe it's something that's interesting to you. Okay, so now that that's done, I need to work on my presentation. And I'm trying really, really, really hard not to get distracted and go check the mail because I'm getting something so cute in the mail today and I'm just, so excited about it. Lucy's so excited, she's like shaking. Were you shaking? Lou? She can't contain her excitement, clearly. Okay, it's getting dark, which means it's almost the end of the day. I really got lucky with my presentation. <laughs> I didn't give myself as much time as I wanted, but it's done. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna send it off to get sort of vetted by my assistant, make sure I didn't have any like grammatical errors in there that I didn't already find. And now I think I'm just waiting for Vin to get home so we can eat dinner. Later I'm gonna be kind of creating those listings for Poshmark so I can get that up and get that done so I can start to sell some stuff 
and um, I think I'm gonna put off this b-roll hard drive organization thing I wanted to do at the end of the day until tomorrow because I have plenty of time and it's not a super pressing thing it was not on my top three items so we can just wait Shout out to these lights making this vlog possible at this point. It is almost 9 p.m. I have not been in the office for this long, don't worry. I actually just got done with dinner with my husband. I made him some food, but that was like two hours ago. And we've just been sitting at the dining room table talking ever since, which is nice because we don't get to see each other throughout the day. He goes to the office, I'm here, so we end up having probably too long of a business conversation after dinner not gonna lie but that's the end of my productive day i really need to go and snuggle in bed with a book right now with a washed face like can we be real i need to wash this face right now and that's gonna do it for me am i still wearing a bride shirt probably because i love this sweatshirt so much don't forget to check out my poshmark store Big shout out to them for sponsoring this little productive day in the life video. And uh, you know what time it is. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, make sure you subscribe for good vibes and remember to continue to go after the life that you want. See you on the next one.